It's helping to create a more accepting environment for some of their students. UW Oshkosh holding its fifth annual Transgender Week, but this time the event has something new. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel joins us live in the newsroom with more. Stacy, it's an event that organizers say is growing, and with news of possible gender neutral bathrooms in local schools and law changes in surrounding states, they say there's no better time to talk about transgender issues than now. We've got, we've got a name tag for you. Thank you. Ian Unger, a graduate of UW Oshkosh, but every year he makes a point to come back for Transgender Week. Five years ago, I would not have felt safe on this campus coming out as transgender, and today it's where I come back to to find that safety. New this year, a two day workshop for students as well as the public. Conversations are happening where it's very clear that there really is a need for education about what the community really is. Many students just coming out or having already come out hoping for one thing. Create a world where it's it's okay for a trans person to take off a coat in a locker room and not be deemed as a threat to someone. But LGBTQ leaders know they won't reach that overnight. We are going to see backlash and a lot of times the backlash does go towards those in our community who have the least power. But they hope with continuous education, eventually people will start to ask questions and become more accepting. UWO's chancellor also met with students during the workshop, and the college is planning on starting a rainbow floor in one of the residential halls for LGBTQ students in the future. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Raquel Lamel, NBC 26. Thanks, Raquel. Still ahead.